teaches us about the silicon, and in part because of the large audience of people who like to build their own PCs and to tune performance. So since the introduction of the AMD Athlon 64FX processor, where we started the practice of unlocking processors and being very aware of both the, the people who do it and the technology uh, necessary to enable them, we've been doing these kinds of experiments. So what you're seeing today is kind of a continuation of that legacy. What we've done today is we've just started testing the AMD FX processor. And as a part of that testing, we've tested at a range of conditions. Temperature is a critical condition, right? So a lot of people are able to run air or aggressive air solutions or, or uh, called affordable water-based solutions. And then we step all the way up to test the true architectural limits under extreme conditions using liquid nitrogen and liquid helium even. So the, the great innovation with Phenom 2 was discovering for the extreme community was that there was no cold bug. And so we were able to run that processor at temperatures below liquid nitrogen, below negative 180 centigrade. So today we're going to see that entire progression of air to, uh, we have a phase unit which takes us to about negative 40 and you're going to see an LN2 unit. The thing that you're about to see as well is it's a science experiment in progress. So we have uh, some really amazing people here to help us with that. We'll get introduced to them as we walk over. And we'll, we'll start with AIR, we'll talk a little bit about AMD FX on AIR, then we'll talk about AMD FX uh, as we scale down in temperature, and then we'll, uh, we'll see if we can't catch some action with liquid nitrogen, and we'll see if we're able to go beyond for you. So that's what we're going to do. So let's just kind of mosey over and we'll take a look.